Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to the Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnels. But before we do, like always, I'm going to talk about everything I did off screen, which is, like always, farming up some ruins. I actually farmed up about 440,000 ruins. So quite a, quite a few. Let's go ahead and rest at the grace. We're going to put some levels in. I farmed up enough ruins to put two levels into vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity. Now these are going to be done leveling for the time being. We're going to start focusing on our faith. And to give everybody a heads up, just in case they want to power level to the level we want faith, we're going to top it out about 23 to 25. I'm probably only going to put it up to 23, but some people might want to put their faith up to 25 just to make it even. Who knows? All right, now that we're done with that, let's go to our map. We're going to be fast traveling down to the Church of Vows, but before we do, let's put a few markers down. Our first marker is going to be right about here. Our second marker is going to be here. Our third marker is going to be I would say about right here. The fourth marker is going to be right here. And then our fifth marker is going to be right there. Now let's go ahead and go over to the Church of Vows. I'll see everybody over there. Top on Torrent. We're going to ride east here. Just follow this path down. And then once we get about here, we're going to veer off. We'll turn on our lantern here. It's a little hard to see. It is daytime, actually morning time. But because it's rainy, it's a little dark out. Just keep going down this way. We are going to have some archers that I just got hit by that are going to shoot at us. Oh my goodness. That was not planned. I don't think it's ever planned to get knocked out of the air. Buy some arrows. Just try to stay behind some trees or a pillar. Something that will hide you from the arrows, these magical arrows. The regular arrows aren't as bad. It's just the magical arrows that hurt quite bad. I don't know where that other one went. Did it go down? There should be one over here, but I guess uh, it fell down or something. It's okay. We're not going to worry about it. Let's go ahead and get rid of this marker here. We're going to light this grace. And then we're going to ride over to the next marker. Now we do have a wandering mausoleum. The wandering mausoleum over here, it will jump and has a pretty big AOE, so be careful. We're actually not gonna, oh, matter of fact, let's let it do its thing there. Try not to be too close, you will take damage. 
right here we're gonna get ourselves the spiral horn shield and then it's probably gonna jump again here in just a moment yep we're gonna get rid of these skulls gonna jump nope it's falling down now we're gonna go in here open up the door now we don't have a high enough level boss remembrance to use at this wandering mausoleum but that's okay we're gonna mark it anyway I'm gonna put markers for all the wandering mausoleums um, like this it kind of represents them a little more than the diamond I'll probably go back and change the ones that I made as a diamond I'll be doing that off screen, so if you want to change yours out as well, be sure to do that. We're going to wander around this path here. Just follow the water. We're going to have another wandering mausoleum as well. But first we want to get this grace. And then we're gonna get another item as well before we mess around with um, the wandering mausoleum. Grab the stalwart horn charm. You can take that path back up to the wandering mausoleum. I'm just going to turn around and go back the way we came. I feel like it's a little shorter. goodness that was terrifying terrifying and reckless let's see probably on the other side here is where the entrance would be yep over here again we can't do anything with this mausoleum as well but we can put a marker down let's head over to the fifth marker we have some more ancestral followers.
If you want to, you can bring your spirit summon out early. I like to take care of the enemies first. Be sure to activate that summoning pool. Let's drink our flask and then we're going to summon out Oleg and we have a Erd Tree Avatar. Not too hard of a fight. I mean, they all can be pretty hard, I suppose. It's just a matter of how much practice you've had on enemies, obviously. Practice makes perfect. I like to get jumping attacks, even though they're not as powerful as they used to be. It does help stagger enemies and bosses. Oops. Mistime that. It's okay. Still got him. If Oleg would get out of the way, I guess... He was going to say, nope, you don't get the critical hit. Oh, well, we beat the Erd Tree Avatar anyways. For beating the Erd Tree Avatar, we get the Magic Shrouding Crack Tier. We also get the Lightning Shrouding Crack Tier and the Holy Shrouding Crack Tier. Good stuff. We're going to be heading over to the Eastern Tableland, Grace. But before we do, let's put a few markers down. Our first marker is going to be right here. This is going to be a Grace. Our second one is going to be right here. It's going to be some Spirit Ashes. And then right here. And right here. And lastly... Way up here, we're going to go to the Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. So now let's go over here and fast travel to the Eastern Tableland. See everybody there. We're going to turn around and face east, southeast, and follow this path on down. Now, we could have got this grace prior, but I think it works out better doing it this way. We're going to have we were going to have to come down here anyways. that get rid of the marker hop back on our trusty steed and then head straight south to the second marker And this is going to give us the land squirt spirit ashes. Grab those smithing stones. Be careful for those flowers. They will spit out some projectiles that will chase you so just be aware of that try to 
get in here without getting poisoned. If you get poisoned, that's okay. We're going to be hitting a grace really soon. And then just run away from there. Follow the cliff side here. It's going to lead us to the Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel, which is a mouthful to say. You can hear another wandering mausoleum off in the distance. And we are almost to our destination. Let's turn on our lantern real quick. It's really, really easy to miss this cave because it's kind of pushed back. I'm glad that they have a marker on the map because if not, such a sneaky, sneaky little um, crevice there for the opening. We're going to send this elevator down. We're actually going to take the side path. You don't have to take this side path. It's only um, if you need some crafting material. It just gives us cracked crystals. So if you want to take the elevator straight down, feel free. There's nothing special down here. We're going to jump across here, do a roll, and then hop straight down. Light that grace. Activate the summoning pool. Open up this treasure chest for a sombering smithing stone too. And then if we hop up behind here, we'll get a sombering smithing stone three. Good stuff. We're gonna take this guy out real fast. And this guy too. And here comes the part I absolutely hate, but we'll get through it. Just do the best you can. Hopefully we don't die. which is a big possibility. Whew. Now this, we want to get a running jump. All for a sombering smithing stone three. And regular smithing stones too as well. And that was death. All right, let's try this again without dying. I'll back up a little bit, get a running start, and there we go. That is our first death of the walkthrough. And it was due to gravity. making sure I didn't miss anything right here is an elevator we're gonna be sending up here shortly this will give us a shortcut just in case we die We 
careful for that guy over there. I knew he was there, but I didn't think I was going to take too much damage. Which I didn't. Grab some more smithing stones. Try to kill them before they, or at least hit them before they do that attack. That way you're not dodging a bunch of crystal shards there. Grab ourselves a golden rune. Okay, we're gonna send this elevator down. This one, you do want to take the side path. And the reason why is because we're actually gonna get a couple of goodies. I mean, if you don't care about them, you can follow the elevator down this way. Still possible to get down. But if you go through this tunnel, It'll spit you out on the other side. Be able to grab a sombering smithing stone too. And then if we fall down right here, we can loot this body for a sombering smithing stone three. Now right here, I like to get as close as I can to the wall and then inch off. And the reason why is because you don't want to fall to your death. We have another beam to walk across here. I like when these guys group up, a little easier to kill. Here's the elevator that I was talking about we would be sending up shortly. That'll give us a shortcut. Grab ourselves a smithing stone three, and then a two, and one hiding over here. Got a marionette right here. Pretty easy to kill those guys. We have two of them that will drop down as soon as we get close enough. Got some cuckoo glint stones, or at least one. Grab a smithing stone one, and then a smithing stone two. Let's pull our bow out. We're going to two hand it right here. We have another marionette. Open up this chest, get ourselves the crystal knife, and then the cuckoo glint stone. Take this guy out right here, and then we're going to have a guy run over to us. He's actually a whole lot tougher. I don't want to call him a mini boss, but he's definitely a tougher enemy out of all of them. Take him out. I was trying not to get too close to these guys. I didn't want to aggro every single one of them. Do have a chance to drop some sombering smithing stones along with regular smithing stones. 
and then we'll grab all the smithing stones on the ground there. We're going to go in this cave. Grab ourselves Shatter Earth. That is a spell. For all you spellcasters out there. Right here we're going to grab ourselves some more smithing stones, including the one that's hiding right back here. Man, I can't believe I died to gravity. Actually, I can't believe it. <laughs> Right here, we're going to send this elevator down, take the side path as always. Get another sombering. And then one more sombering and we're at the boss. So just a quick note before we go into this boss fight, if you have a blunt weapon that, or well, a weapon that does blunt damage, like a club or a mace or a morning star, a hammer, any of that, this boss is going to be much easier. Not that this is a hard boss. This is not a hard boss at all. Pretty easy. But it's a crystalline, and crystallines usually have like an outer shell that's really hard. So if you're carrying a slashing weapon or any weapon that's not blunt, you're not going to do very much damage to it until you break its essentially like crystal skin, and then you'll start doing more damage to it. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and drink our wondrous flask of physic, and then we will summon in Oleg here in just a moment. And we'll top ourselves off. So to see how it fell to the ground, that's how you know that you broke its armor. And then you do much more damage. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So for beating that boss, we get the smithing stone miner's bell bearing. We can turn that into an NPC at the round table hold. And that will allow us to buy smithing stone ones and twos. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the entrance of the Rhea Lucaria crystal tunnel. Go ahead and turn around, turn our lantern on. Lantern. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mr. Wayne? Lantern. We're going to ride this up. And then we're going to open up our map. And right over here is where we're going to be going next and where we're going to be ending the video for the day. We're going to hop on Torrent, and we're going to head about northwest to west. We want to be heading over here where these yellow trees are. Where the spruce trees is what they look like. Spruce or fir trees. We want to hop up on this spirit spring. Get up on top of this ledge. We're going to talk to the finger reading crone. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Oh, what a pity it is to be without the right. All you can do is stand at a loss. 
without even the half crescents that wish to be whole before the unmoving unfeeling grand lift ahead <sighs> or are you planning to throw yourself to the waters to find the Howard's passage through the dim cavern. We're going to come over to this grace. Well, let's get this marker off real quick and then we'll go over to this grace. We're actually going to sit at this grace because Melina wants to talk to us. And Bach will now be over here instead of where he was at before. Let's go ahead and talk to Melina. Your seamster, Bach, he is always eager to see your return. Please, will you talk to him when you can? I'm sure he would be much contented. Now he's got no new dialogue, even though that she just told us to go talk to him. We will eventually give him the golden needle and tailoring tools, just not yet. For now, we're going to come over here and we're actually going to end the video. Mm, about right here. This looks like a good spot. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the camera just right. Okay, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning. A good afternoon or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.